23 year old cancer patient recently diagnosed with breast cancer and this is my cancer diary 01 so in this video I will be speaking mainly in English because there's a lot of uh, medical professional terms that is in English that's easier for me to explain as well I will be using Q&A method for me to uh, talk about this whole process and journey until from the diagnosis till now so before filming this I actually spent a uh, trying to bring myself to film it but wasn't able to because firstly I'm currently having chemotherapy so I'm having like discomfort after the chemotherapy and also then um, mentally I didn't want to do really bring myself to speak about it um, so I feel like I always have this devil side it's making me afraid to speak about my experience openly because I feel like oh if I share then um, I don't know what people would think about it and also it put me more into the public's eyes and then this devil voice is like telling me that I can just be quiet about it and then um, after I finished my cancer treatments and recover from it then I could just uh, quietly continue with my life and everything will be back to normal next year yeah but then there's another there's the other side there's the angel side it's like speaking to me and then it's saying like I could actually share this experience How we feel. I think there's difference between um, older cancer patient and younger patient mainly towards our approach and our mental state towards it. So first question is how did I find out about it? So I actually found out about it on the first night of Chinese New Year which is uh, first Feb. Then I was actually lying on my bed using my phone at night. I was like turning on this side right? my arm is actually lying on my chest so then I was using for like 30 minutes and then I feel like there's this pressure pain here so I was like is it like I lie too long on this side so I turned on the other side and then I like this arm was leaning on this chest right but I was using for like very long and then I felt that like to this side again so I switch and then I use my phone like on the side and then after that um, like not long later I felt the same pressure pain again so I began to like touch this side and like try to ease the pain so then I touch like this lump where it's like it's quite big so I try to figure out like the the dimension of the lump and I then and then I realized that hey, it's actually like quite big like like something serious because I was like watching videos in informative videos online and then they were talking about how like the best cure to cancer is early detection so I was like can this be cancer like huh like this weird I went to search like what could it be so like they were like saying oh it could be a cyst it could be like um because I was on my period so I feel like oh is it because of period and so like they go like something hard or like you know when you have period and your breast tend to be like harder right so I was like oh maybe it's that so like I try not to think too much about it the lump is actually quite big right so I was concerned so the next day I went to tell my mom about it and my sister about it so I asked them if they have some similar uh, experience and they were like uh, nowhere they haven't have never had such big lump so I was like oh, okay then I should just uh, go to the clinic and then uh, ask the doctor about it but it was on Chinese New Year so I have a lot of visiting and then 
things planned out. So I was going like visiting, I was going friend house, everything. And then also clinic wasn't open. Now it's question two. So as I was saying, it was during Chinese New Year. So the clinic wasn't open. So I think the clinic was like open on the third day only. On third Feb, I went to the clinic downstairs my house. Next week, I will go see the doctor instead. So on 7 Feb, I called the clinic and then I booked an appointment. So immediately that day, uh, I I called like I called around uh, 9 a.m. Then the clinic was like, okay, we have slot for 10 a.m. You want to come in? I was like, okay. So immediately I went to the clinic and then see the doctor. So once I'm there, I. So it was about like 2.6 to 2.8 cm at that point So she was like, oh okay, this lump is quite big So during the ultrasound, she found also another uh, limb knots under my arm So like, um, I mean she will check both sides right Because you're already doing ultrasound so they, she will just do everything Then so yeah, so on my left side there's a lump Under the arm I have a limb knots as well after that, she arranged for me to do more checks. I did a mammogram and also I did biopsies. So all three of them is done on the same day. Like it was very fast. I also need to uh, explain further. So ultrasound is where they put this like gel and then they put this uh, instrument, like medical instrument, and then they like scan the area. So it's a bit like you know the baby where they they scan and see what's inside. So yeah, so they can scan and see like this. My ultrasound images as well, and then uh, I did mammogram. So mammogram is that when you have to go to this like uh, machine, and then you you like stand in front of the machine, and then you uh, have the machine like press you press your breast flat, and then they will do a scan to see where's the lump at and everything. And then after that, I also did a biopsy. So biopsy is where they have this like needle. She's like super big and then I injected a few shots of LA to numb the area. So it's a bit like a mini surgical procedure. They will put the the needle in towards the alarm. Like she will she will locate for me and then she will put in the needle and then there's like this like gunshot like, like that. the feeling I can feel like that, like a gunshot like and then they will extract inside the substance. I think I extracted three only so and then they will put inside this like tube and then they will send for uh, testing so as I finished three of them in the same day then I went back home to wait for results so on the 10 I have my result back then the, the nurse the nurse called me and said oh, okay doctor want to talk to you in person and I was like hmm doctor want to talk to me in person and he's like then I was like okay I think it's not like good news because if it's good news then they can just talk through the phone right tell me the result come came, came back and it was positive so i was like mm, okay then i went down to the clinic on that day with my mom and then the doctor was like um 
so do you want me to tell you slowly or do you want me to tell you all at once then I was like okay can you just tell me all at once and she's like okay it's a bad news that they found from the biopsy's result that the the lung is actually a uh, cancerous so after that she said that I would need to go for PET scan and then also I need to she will need to send the biopsy result for further testing to know like what is the cancer and what stage and blah blah she arranged for me to have my PET scan done the next day so on the 11th I went for my PET scan they put in this like radioactive substance like a tracker then uh, I was injected here and then they put in this tube of this like radioactive substance so the substance will run in my body for like half an hour so I rest like on the bed for half an hour and then after that I was bring to the scanner then they will scan and see like uh, where the track girls go to so they will track like where's the cancer cell So my result came back is that the substance was like around my left breast area which is where my, my lump is and then it has spread to like my lymph nodes. Okay, Q3. So what is my diagnosis? So after the PET scan and for the testing, on the 15th I had a teleconsult with uh, Beta Wun uh, on the result of the further biopsy testing and also the PET scan result. So my result came back, I'm a stage 2 uh, triple negative breast cancer. So she was saying that this uh, triple negative breast cancer, the only way of treatment is chemotherapy. So there's two other types as well and they can have other treatment options like hormone therapy or something but for my triple negative uh, type, I can only do chemotherapy. So for tri triple negative uh, cancer, the cells are more aggressive and it's more common to a younger patient. So I will probably do another video more on like the types of breast cancer, like something more like informative. Because uh, I guess it will be too long for me to squeeze into this video. So I'm actually reading on my whole process like when I have consultation uh, I will write down notes so like in my notes <laughs> I wrote she said that it's curable and treatable but I need to add fast so her suggestion is that I start chemotherapy first and then I string the lump smaller through chemotherapy and then I have surgery to remove the lump so she also said that I need to add a clip to the tumour I might need to add that so that I can observe the shrinkage of it. Then I have like a, a lump, lump septomy, which is like uh, removing a portion of your breast that where the lump is at. Because my tumor now is quite big, that's why it's stage 2 or so. So uh, they were saying like 2.5 to 3 cm is quite big, so it's like considered as stage 2. So if like it's smaller, I think it could be like stage 1. So Q4, after diagnosis, what was needed to be done? During the consultation where I, I went to the clinic and then the doctor told me it's confirmed cancer, I immediately like texted my sister that, oh, I need to start like insurance process like because I've confirmed like cancer already. Then that uh, she also like the colleagues and stuff and then 
she discussed with me. So we decided that we will move from private hospital to uh, government hospital so that we can get subsidies and then also as well as it's easier for her to claim, like process my claim. So I actually told Dr. Vaita that I would like to switch to a public hospital and then she said that I should uh, go to polyclinic first and then uh, get a referral letter from the doctor there and then they will refer me to uh, NCC which is National Cancer Centre. So then I immediately like went to polyclinic on the 16th. So I have to teleconsult on the 15th, right? Then 16th I actually went to uh, polyclinic. So I went to poly- polyclinic and I have a referral letter written uh, by the doctor at the bo- polyclinic and so she ar- he arranged for me to get an appointment with NCC and then because I relay what uh, Dr. Beta say to the doctor is that uh, it's urgent that I need to uh, do the chemotherapy as soon as possible so they put me on a fast track so that everything is processed like urgently so then after that I left the polyclinic so um, before I reach home immediately I received like uh, SMS to say that I have an appointment with NCC on the 17th morning which is like the next day so I was like wow damn shock cause actually I thought like it would take very long for me to get an appointment with government clinic in government hospital but actually it's very fast 